Hi everyone, my name is Riley. I'm a museum associate at the OSU Museum of Art, and this is my staff pick. The Clouds Between Japan and Korea is a series of cyanotype photographs by Patrick Leiden. The artist used photos he took from flights between his home in Japan and his wife's home in Korea to create these stunning prints. Though a small part of the exhibition, this series has a simple yet ethereal quality that captivated my attention. The storm clouds symbolize the tension and dissension between the two nations, showing how nature reflects life and all of life is dependent upon nature. I was curious about the process for making these types of prints, and I learned that with the right supplies, I could make some for myself. Cyanotype printing, more commonly known as blueprinting, was historically used to make copies of drawings prior to the invention of copy machines. This process typically involves coating a paper with a solution mixture of ferric ammonium citrate and potassium ferrous cyanide and letting it dry in a dark place, but in this case I will be using pre-treated paper. In the clouds between Japan and Korea, the artist used negative photographic prints atop the paper, but you can use any object, like a leaf, for example. Place your chosen object on top of the treated paper, then set it in the sun for about five minutes. After exposure, place the paper in water and move it back and forth for about one minute as the blue color emerges. Perfecting the craft requires a lot of trial and error, but this series proves that the results can be beautiful. When I look at the clouds between Japan and Korea, I am filled with wonder at the beauty of life, captured by the artist in such a unique way. Next time you stop by the museum, keep an eye out for this piece and join us for our second Saturday to make a cyanotype of your own.